With companies around the world laying off workers and shuttering their doors, or in the case of some, retooling their facilities for making masks and ventilators, it's to be expected that many things we were expecting to hit the market may end up getting delayed in some form or another. We already had some automakers discuss delaying the launch of new models, and with many auto shows now cancelled, some have even held virtual launch events designed to reveal their new vehicles at a safe, appropriate distance. While cars that were due to launch in the next month or so are likely already well into production and will only suffer a slight drop in production volume, the cars that are most likely to be impacted by closers associated with human malware are ones which had original launch dates in the third and fourth quarter of this year. One of them, the mildly refreshed 2021 Chevrolet Bolt EV, has now officially been pushed back to launch next year as a 2022 model year car. But one other, the 2021 Ford Mustang Mark E, is for now at least, on schedule to get launched when Ford originally said it would. Naturally, that can and probably will change over time, and the actual launch date may actually be pushed back. But how is one company carrying on with its planned development and launch schedule when others are pushing back, especially when both have closed factories? The answer lies in where the vehicles are in their production process and what's generally being focused on by said companies right now. In Ford's case, the physical characteristics of the car have been already tied down. We know what the interior will look like. I mean, I got to sit and ride in a prototype at the tail end of last year, as well as look at a production intent interior. And that means there's very little left for that particular team to worry about ahead of production. But while the car's looks and interior have pretty much been set in stone, the software that the car runs has not, giving engineers a way to continue to develop the car without ever stepping foot in the office. That's because, like Tesla, Ford's vehicle system is designed on a platform that can be updated easily over the air. So everything from the car's infotainment system to the final tweaking of the drivetrain and vehicle dynamics can still be worked on remotely. Sure, Factory preparations are, I'd presume, on hold in many ways, but refining how the car behaves on the road is something that Ford engineers can safely do from their home. To facilitate this, Ford is able to get a fleet of pre-production vehicles ready for engineers to take home with them, as well as the essential communications hardware needed to interface with the car's computer systems. Working like many of this these days, essentially telecommuting and holding lots of virtual meetings, the software teams responsible for various different parts of the Mustang Mark E's computer systems have been able to continue the iterative build process that they normally would do at the office. But instead of having multiple different people jump in a car and take it out for a test drive and see how the tweak is going, each engineer is flashing their prototype car with required software, taking it for a spin and then comparing their notes and the logs virtually afterwards with their colleagues. For teams where something they've been planning may affect another team's development, engineers say they just got to having a creative collaborative session and they're making sure that changes that might be needed to a specific vehicle is actually pushed to that vehicle and then the resulting logs shared with the rest of the team. While some engineers are reporting that there are some things that are, you know, harder to do, the ability to take a car home and work on it from the house is proving a real bonus for the development of this vehicle. And because it's a perfectly OK thing to take your car out for a drive without needing to interact with anyone, test drives are still very much happening and a very safe activity for any engineering team. So how does this compare to a traditional internal combustion engine vehicle development process? Well, with fewer moving parts and a whole lot more of the vehicle systems relying on software, it seems it's far easier to develop a car remotely like this when it's powered by electric. Let's just leave it at that. The other benefit for Ford is that it's got engineering teams in several different countries and regions working on this vehicle, and each vehicle and each team are being impacted differently. Each regional team is collaborating with their counterparts overseas, but they're also working on regional specific tweaks of the vehicle. And more people working on a problem means it's far easier to identify issues when they pop up. Sadly, though, I don't think Ford is working 
on the cooler development. It looks like they kind of tied that up for the Super Bowl. But, but all jokes aside, why can't GM do the same thing for the Bolt EV? After all, it's electric and like Ford, GM is also working on converting some of its production facilities to emergency production of non-automotive products. So the answer I think here depends on a couple of things. As far as I'm aware, most of Ford's development is in-house, which makes it a whole lot easier to arrange when people need to work out of the office. GM is designing much of the Bolt in-house, but it's also heavily reliant on its partner LG in South Korea for some of the drivetrain and battery systems. I'm not sure if that impacts things here, but I can imagine that it might, just a little. But the real kicker, though, is the fact that unlike the Ford Mustang Mark E, most of the tweaks to the new 2022 Bolt EV are actually physical tweaks to the interior and exterior. Sure, there are said to be some infotainment tweaks, which I'm assuming GM is actually working on remotely, just like Ford, but things like seats and interior changes are harder to develop remotely. Remember, the 2022 Bolt EV is essentially a mid-cycle refresh based on the current 2020 Bolt EV, with the same battery pack, motor, and power electronics. The other thing I think that's different is that GM is probably converting its Bolt factory for wartime production. Honestly, though, I think it shows that although the GM and Ford still aim to make an overwhelming proportion of their cars internal combustion for many years to come, it looks like Ford has really stepped out of its comfort zone to develop the Mark E in a new way that's much more in line with Tesla's design practice than perhaps GM is doing with the Bolt. And I think that may result in good things for Ford. Now all it has to do is make more than recent leaks plan suggest. A whole lot more. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon, or you can feed our team coffee habit with Kofi. I'll be back soon with more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands and keep evolving.